Today I'd like to teach you how to find the molar mass of copper 2 chloride. And in order to do that, I've made a nice little table. Watch how fast this is. Bam. So the first step is to write down the elements I see in the compound, right? So we see copper, Cu, and we see chlorine, Cl. Next is then to write down the number of atoms of each. At the bottom of copper, there is a 1. So that means there's one copper. Chlorine, there's a 2. So the subscripts are what are going to tell you the number of atoms. Next is the mass of the element, right? We go to the periodic table to find this. So copper here is going to be roughly 63.55. Chlorine is 35.45. And those units can represent gram per mole or AMU, depending upon if you're finding molar mass or molecular mass, all right? So let's write that down. So 63.55, 63.55, and this was then 32, uh, 35, excuse me, thinking of sulfur right now, 35.45. All right. Then to uh, find the total mass of the element, all we simply have to do is take the number of atoms and multiply it by the mass of that element, and this is 63.55 for uh, copper, and then for chlorine, you got to take two and multiply it by its weight, and that works out to be 70.90. And then to find the total mass of the compound, so simple now, just add these two values together. And it works out to be 134, 134.45. Since we're solving for molar mass, the units here are in gram per mole. And that's all there is to it. The table provides a nice little structure here, makes it very simple to calculate. All right? So you can repeat this process on any, you know, molecular formula you're looking to calculate. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you soon. Take care. I'll see you in the next one. All right. See you later. Bye. See you. Take care. Okay, really, I'm done. Bye.